the my dear students previously we have started with the practicals and we have created a table we have inserted a values then we have implemented the constant on that table in last practical we have done a different constraint and how that constraint will affect the insertion in the table in this video lecture we are going to discuss how the foreign key constraint are implemented and what is the effect of on delete cascade okay so first we can demonstrate that on delete cascade effect and foreign key constraint and then we are going to discuss how to solve the manuals okay so for that purpose i have logged into the live sql and open the worksheet okay so for that purpose i have created a two table previously so we are going to create a parent table in which a parent id is integer not null it is a primary key okay so we are going to create one table that is called the parent table okay so we can create first parent table So parent table is created okay so table created it is very important when you run a create table command after the successful completion of that create table command table must be created so we have created parent table with one column parent id which is integer not null and it is a primary okay so we are creating the second table called as a child table okay so in that child table also we are going to create only two columns okay so in which we have two columns parent id which is not null okay and child id which is not null and primary key of child table okay a primary key is a parent id and child id where parent id is foreign key a reference to table parent in which the column name is parent id and a action on the foreign key is on delete cascade okay so we are only considering on delete cascade we can use on delete update in another example so in this condition we are creating a child table which two columns parent id and child id and parent id is a foreign key for child table because parent id is primary key of parent table and we are using parent id as a column in the child id which is as a member of primary key okay so pr id is now a foreign key for child and a reference table is parent table okay so we can create a child table first run the statement so two tables are created now we must insert some data into the tables so that purpose i have previously inserted some data okay so this data we are going to insert so there is single column so there is no need to have a maximum data or maximum columns inside the table so we can insert so i am inserting parent id 1 then parent id 2 then parent id 3 so i am inserted uh, three values for the parent id okay so three rows are created how to see that column uh, how to see that table select 
table from parent so that is your table so you can see the data inserted in the table so three rows are created now we are going to insert uh, values in the child table with respect to a uh, foreign key okay so child table has parent id plus child id okay so i can insert values into the child table okay so easily i can insert values to the child table okay so here i am inserting one one so parent id is one and child id is also one okay so it can be easily inserted okay i can insert another value one two because parent id is one available and child id is two now so i can insert okay in this way we can insert another rows like for parent id 2 i can insert child 1 okay or for parent id 2 child id may be a 2 okay so this can be inserted okay so we can insert like this there will be one error due to we have previously inserted parent id 11 because it is not on delete update so that error will be occur first see what happens to that table and then we can easily identify the values okay so i can insert another value into child table like when parent id is 3 child id may be a 1 so that can be also inserted so first we check yeah it can be inserted first we check the parent table so parent table may consist of 1 2 and 3 okay so 1 2 and 3 because we have inserted a parent value in the table okay so parent values are 1 2 and 3 okay so already i have inserted here one so no problem one two and three already we have inserted noting about a child so we can see what is a child table look like so we can see the content of the child table using select star from child okay So in child we have inserted one one yes one 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 two okay two one two two and three one can we insert a four one into the child table okay so I can I insert a four one because four is a parent key a parent ID in parent table there is no 4 okay so we cannot insert 4 1 because 4 is a primary key in the parent table and there is no any value entered a 4 to the parent id that will throw the exception you can see that yes there will be exception because parent key cannot found because if there is no parent key we cannot insert a child value so that is called as a foreign key constraint okay 
so it proves that if there is no any value in the parent id then we cannot insert a child value or child id in the child table if you want to insert this you must insert 4 into the parent okay so how it is possible so i can insert first 4 into the parent table okay so now parent id is 4 okay how to see that so we can see these two tables at a time so now pr id is 1 2 3 4 and child already we have inserted value 5 5 rows now i can insert a 4 1 okay if i will select this and i will run this it will insert a value because a 4 is now a value in the parent id if you see these two tables now it will be entry of 4 1 in the child table because parent id is 1 2 3 4 and now it is a 1 1 1 2 2 1 2 2 3 1 and now 4 1 so it is a possible due to the foreign key constraint now we can see how on delete cascade effect is happen okay suppose i want to delete uh, parent id 1 from the parent record then what is the effect of that deletion of parent id 1 because if we delete parent id 1 it will automatically delete a record in the child table which is the reference with the parent id 1 means 1112 will be also deleted for that purpose we can delete a record okay so we can delete a record from the table so for that purpose we must have delete okay so we can have a delete operation so delete delete from table table name parent parent so we are, we are deleting where where pid and then parent id P, pr underscore id pr id is equal to 1 so we are deleting the parent table row which having the pr id is equal to 1 when we delete okay so it is deleted okay when we delete what will be effect on these two tables so we are only deleted a parent record but that will effect on the child also so parent record that is the pr id 1 is deleted also in the child table 1 1 1 2 which is related to a parent id 1 is deleted so that effect is called as on delete cascade okay so also you can have one another constraint on update cascade means if you change a parent id of any table that will be effect the child table also for that purpose you can alter this table okay so same i will take so only change in that is update so now constant is update on update so we must have the change alter alter will modify the current table so alteratable option will be
invalid alter option because on delete cache card and reference key is already set okay so we can create a table directly create table child1 so I am creating a new table child1 which is also a reference with the parent okay can we create this okay so on this cascade we will send missing missing keyword okay so already we have created a parent table and so I can modify a parent one will be the table okay parent one okay parent one table is created now I can create on delete cascade on the parent one and I am creating child one okay so child one on delete update is not taking can we see uh, can it creates on delete okay so update is not possible in the live SQL so we can have on delete cascade operation we can easily demonstrate the on delete cascade operation and using the foreign key okay so once again I will explain this concept okay so if you save this script then you can easily understand what we have done in this session so session may be so all this session is captured okay so we have created parent table with primary key parent id then we have created a child table which having a primary key parent id in child id your parent id is a foreign key to the child then we have inserted value 1 2 3 in the table a parent table so it has a 1 2 3 then we have inserted 1 1 1 2 then 1 1 1 1 2 will once again I have created then it will be a error because already 1 1 and 1 2 values are inserted so that will validate a primary constraint so I have inserted 2 1 2 2 2 3 so table is like this okay you cannot insert 4 1 value because 4 is not a value in the parent id so that will be violate the primary key constraint then we have deleted so this is a table and then we have deleted a value from the table okay we have inserted 4 1 and then we have deleted parent id 1 that will delete a record parent id one from the parent table as well as records from the child table so that will be demonstrate foreign key constraint with on delete cascade okay so this is a demonstration of foreign key constraint now go to your downloaded manual and in this we have a different experiments so in experiment number one we can create we can insert we can update okay so we can complete easily uh, five experiment from one to five okay for that purpose you can download your manual and in the manual every experiment having some questions okay so in, you can write this question in your notebook if you want to have a demonstration then you can create a student database employee database okay rename it using rename command or you can create a multiple tables in that database using create database so that is simple experiment then in second experiment you can insert you can update the values okay 
so in second experiment in your manual they have given the exercise okay so create this table and implement the options given in the manual so you can easily create the record of student table you can insert a value you can have a constraint on the mobile number okay then you can have a remove option that is you can remove the table using truncate you can delete a row okay using the delete command so you can solve these queries in the manual also in the manual experiment and experiment number three is related to er diagram read the manual carefully what is er diagram we have previously also given you the different problems related to er diagram go to these assignments you can draw and solve all the questions in the manual so these are the two diagrams railway reservation system in ER diagram and you can also normalization in the railway reservation system so you can solve these experiments in your notebook also there is a fourth experiment related to DDL commands so you can create alter drop truncate rename and describe so already we have gone through this all commands using this experiment you can forward on this command and you can save the script and that soft copy of script is your submission also three questions must be write down in your notebook okay so in experiment number five so experiment number five is related to dml statement already we have seen the insert update delete and select statements so you know about this all the concept only remaining is you can create the table as per the experiment as per the exercise given in the manual and you can complete your task save your outcome of this all exercise given in the manual create a soft copy and send it to me so that is the experiment so at least you can easily solve first five experiments okay and then in next video lecture we are going to discuss so dcl commands that is a data control commands that is a dcl commands that is a grant rehook okay save point commit rollback also we can demonstrate update command okay in the next video lecture still then you can complete all your manual you can take your time complete the first five experiment create a soft copy of that or if there is a theory questions write down the answers in the notebook and scan these pages and send to me okay so that is your submission okay so in this video lecture we have demonstrated on delete cascade operation and foreign key constraint in next video lecture we are going to discuss dcl commands and we are having a brief discussion about the different arithmetic operations arithmetic logical bitwise then range and like operators in the sql okay so I am concluding this video lecture today. In next video lecture, we are going to discuss 2.10, 2.9 also, and practical related concept to the experiment number six. Okay, so stay home, stay safe, stay healthy, happy, learn.